Hello everyone. A few students have been asking me how to build a following on Twitter for their local business, and following users based simply on an interest might not be sufficient. In this tutorial, I will show you how to follow users based on their location using Tweepy. Now, Tweepy, you, there's a free version of Tweepy, however, you need the premium version to use the tools I'm about to show you. Alright, so the first option is to use the Tweet Search tool. So let's say I own, um, I don't know, let's say I own a local coffee shop. I'll, I'm going to search for users that are tweeting about coffee. All right. So this list, as you can see, it will sh it's showing me users that have tweeted about coffee. And this person's tweeted less than a minute ago, a minute ago. So this is fairly recent. Now to get geo-targeting, I'm going to select the advanced uh, slash geo button. And we'll go Seattle. And we'll, we'll search within 50 miles. All right. Now this list is going to show me people that have searched for co or that have tweeted about coffee. However, while they they're tweeting within 50 miles of Seattle because the this search is now geo-targeted, if we look at their location, um, well this person's from Seattle, but we have Boston, Brazil, Calgary, um, Cascadia, El Salvador, Greenland. So as you can see, uh, many of the people on this list might not live in Seattle. So if, if, you're, if you're from a smaller area that doesn't get a whole lot of tourism, um, searching by tweet might be a great option for you because you can get very... Basically, you can't fool the geo-targeting, so you know these people are near you. Without a doubt, they are near you. Um, but if, like, like I said, if you're from, from Seattle like me, there is a ton of tourism. There are people coming from all over the United States and all over the world to visit Seattle. So there's another option that might be better for you if you live in a larger area, and that is BioSurge. So I'm going to type in Seattle, Washington. Oops. Washington. All right. So this is going to bring up uh, people with Seattle, Washington, their username, in their bio, and uh, people that have Seattle, uh, Washington as their location. Now before I start following people from this list, I'm going to put in a filter. I'm going to, I only want people that have more than 100 followers. And I'm going to sort by follow ratio. So follow ratio is the number of followers to friends. And I'm not going to go above, uh, I don't know, about two, 250, I guess. Um, the reason being is, um, as you can see up here, these people with a follow ratio of you know 13,000%, uh, they don't follow back very many people. So this person's only followed back five people. So anyway, I'm going to go down to uh, about 255%. We'll start there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna follow people um, based on that. And as you can see, I've already followed these people, so I'm I'm gonna go to the next uh, next page and start from here. So 249, do that. And I'm gonna follow people. Just keep following people on this list. And as you can see in their bios, they have you know. So here is somebody uh, that is advertising apartment listings. Um, this is oops, this is someone that owns a tattoo and piercing uh, lounge. Um, so you can be really specific with who you follow, and this is probably the best option, uh, especially if you live in a larger city. Um, I would definitely go with this option for adding um, local permanent residents for your um, local business. Well, thank you for watching this video, and I hope this tutorial helps you add local followers.